All right, so one of our first pieces of news today. Of course, last week we talked about Horizon Zero Dawn getting a remaster. And we got news from Sony that they were going to be taking the PS4 version of Horizon Zero Dawn, which has been on a greatest hits kind of thing for a while and only $20 for a number of years. And they increased the price to $50. So you can no longer get the game for $20 unless you happen to find like a used seller or or if you find some site that hasn't didn't get the memo i guess um i mean it's possible you could still find it somewhere for cheap but my guess is that unless you buy it used you are going to be stuck paying 50 dollars if you want to play this game so you can pay 50 dollars and then pay the additional 10 dollars actually maybe it's 40 dollars I can't yeah, remember. It's, it's it's 40 if you get the right. ps4 okay. version upgrade to my, so uh, yes my mistake Right. Okay. So, it's forty. It, the price got increased to forty dollars from twenty. So it, it doubled in price. And then, if you wanted the PS5 remaster, you can pay an extra ten dollars, and then you get that. Or you can just. I think you can just straight out buy a PS5 version that would be the fifty dollars. Either way, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Um. There's no reason why an old game, especially a previous gen game, should have a price increase. I mean, what is it with Sony recently increasing the prices of products that should be going down rather than up in a generation? Um, this is this is definitely very weird. And people, I, I've definitely seen a whole lot of people defending this, saying, "Oh, people had a chance to get it for free for years. You know, it was part of the." specials giveaways and sales and stuff like that people if they wanted to play horizon they had time to do it yeah what if they didn't have a ps4 or ps5 at the time and you're like yeah you know i'm gonna pick one up now i'm gonna get this horizon zero dawn game and play it, give it a chance and it's more expensive than it was at the time when you know way back like there's no reason for this to happen in my opinion um like it, it's it's completely ridiculous the fact that a game that was twenty dollars is now twice as much. That that's that's that's, and I mean even if you say, for, and this is a very big stretch. If you said the physical version, why would a digital version go up in price as well? I mean, because of the fact that it costs less to have a digital version of a game than a physical version because you have to go, you have to print the copies, you have to uh, ship them out, you have to have, you have to pay for um shelf space so it, it, if you said and again i do not defend this at all the physical being more expensive but if it was more expensive i could understand through mental gymnastics the logic behind that but for the digital version to also be 40 dollars is insane there's again this is a game that came out seven years ago um originally 60 eventually made its way down to 20. Now we're getting it back up to 40. <laughs> I mean, th this is absurd. I mean, yeah, that, that's that's really all I have to say. This is ridiculous. Um, there's no excuse for this. Yeah, I agree completely. This is, it is incredibly stupid, and you have to be a fanboy in order to just accept this and say that this is okay. Because it's not. It's insane that they are increasing the price especially for the greatest hits version <laughs> it's like you literally are not even getting the original like nice looking art like i have it right here on the grab it. so like i have horizon uh zero dawn complete edition on ps4 very nice art all that i'm pretty sure i either got it for 20 or 30 i can't remember which because i got it in 2018 so it was already, you know, heavily discounted by the time I got it. I'm glad I waited because I would not have been able to give it the time it deserved had I tried playing it in 2017 when Breath of the Wild came out and the Switch, and I was completely obsessed with that. And of course, then there was other games that came out in 2017 that I was obsessed with, like um, Persona, 4, or Persona 5 and various other things. But... 
the fact that they are increasing the price, you're getting the the like less night less nice looking artwork and having to spend more on it. It's just that's stupid. It is so stupid and there's there's no excuse for this. I know I'm repeating myself over and over, but there is no excuse for this. This is literally just Sony milking that pay pig. And that is a weird phrase, milking the pay pig. Um, milking the milking the cows. Um, smoking and butchering the pay pig. I, I don't know, but the point is, <laughs> it's like, if you guys would not accept this, they wouldn't do it. But you accept it. You will bend over backwards to accept anything they do. If Xbox did the same thing, they would be roasting them so much. And I think that it would be just as bad if Xbox did it. There is no reason why the price should increase. Now, it's one thing to say, yes, we'll charge an extra $10 for the upgrade. That's fine. But the game is seven years old. Someone could literally just... I mean, I don't know. I'm going to say right now. If you want to play this game on PS5, don't spend $50. Find yourself a used copy. Hopefully you can find someone who hasn't caught on to the price increase. And will give it to you for $20 or less. And then you're not getting ripped off like what Sony's doing to you right now. Because it's not worth it. It just isn't. And um, I do want to note something. I want to take back what I said about them making a Lily look better um i think that there are some shots where she looks better in the in the remaster but overall they did make her look worse so it's like yeah i guess that's not surprising i mean that was what i was expecting in the first place and i thought that i was proven wrong but no i wasn't <laughs> i mean they, they did make her look look better in the key art for for like the cover but when you're actually in game like the majority of the time she looks worse than she did before so <sighs> whatever um like i i don't care if people want to buy it you know some people they they want to replay it they're willing to spend the extra money that's fine but i just think it's stupid to charge people you know 50 dollars for a seven-year-old game or 40 dollars <laughs> yeah a last gen game for 40 dollars and then plus a 10 dollar upgrade fee so, it's stupid. I don't know if there's anything else I can say that isn't just repeating that phrase over and over. And I know that people who watch this video, there's going to be fanboys who are going to defend this. Because, of course, there are. It's like, I like the game. And I liked what I played of Forbidden West. I haven't finished it yet. But I'm just... I'm not okay with this. I think this is stupid. I don't think anybody should ever be doing this. The price should not increase for an old game. The remaster is... I mean, like, if people were buying the PS5 version exclusively and they were having to spend 40 bucks for the PS5 version, I think that would actually be pretty reasonable. If they're buying a physical copy, 40 bucks for the PS5 version, it's the remaster, all that, okay, that's one thing. But it's a whole different story when you're taking a last-gen PS4 game and you're upping the price by $20 plus the $10 upgrade fee. And I know people are going to defend it. I mean, you know, some of the people are defending it, like you said, and saying, well, you could have gotten this free all the time. It's like, well, for one, it wasn't actually free. <laughs> you you got it as part of PlayStation Plus, which was not free. You spend, I mean, back when the thing first came out, I think at that point they had already done the price increase. And even if they hadn't, you were still spending at least $60 a year for PlayStation Plus. It was probably more by that point. Now it's more. I mean, now it's $80 minimum for a year. And so saying like, oh, you should have gotten it back then. Well, some people didn't have a PlayStation back then. But as far as I'm concerned, do whatever you can. If, if you want to play this game, find the cheapest version you can find and don't dare give sony money and i'm not saying don't give it like i'm gonna be mad at you i'm saying for your own sakes do not give them 40 dollars for a ps4 game when it was 20 dollars a week ago just 
just don't. Don't do that. Don't give in to them because then they're just going to keep doing this crap. And then other companies are going to do it too. Don't let Sony keep setting these bad examples and letting letting it just become precedent. Like the $70 games. That has become the standard now for, for most new games, thanks to Sony. Sony doing it first. <sighs> okay, anyway, I'm done. <laughs> All right, any other thoughts on that? No, sir. No, sir.